what's going on guys? Dustin Hansen here. So today we are going to be installing some new hood struts on the J690. These are from Lift Supply Depot. Go ahead and show the part number there. So these apparently are a direct replacement. I don't remember how much I paid for them. They were not expensive. I think they were only like 30 bucks. So uh, both my hood struts are out on the hood, which is pretty annoying because I don't have a hood prop. So we're gonna go ahead and replace these and that way we can start working on the engine without having to carry a broomstick around. So let's get right to it. All right, so the swap is pretty easy. All you do is you take a flathead and you pop this little retaining clip off. And this one you either need to cut or if you could force off, I'm gonna try maybe with the uh, flathead screwdriver. We'll see if we get pop it off. So as you guys saw, I literally just popped that retaining clip off and then I actually just took this thing and forced it back and it popped right off. You can tell these are bad. Look at that. No gas whatsoever. So these ones are really hard. I honestly can't even push them down by hand. So we're about to put this on and see. Should be should hold it pretty good. Uh, hopefully it doesn't hold it too well because it'll be hard to <laughs> close the hood. But we're about to find out. So uh, another thing you want to do is make sure you put a little dab of grease either in this socket or on the ball because these obviously are rotating. So you want them to be nice and lubed up. So we're gonna grab some grease, toss it on there, and then we'll just pop these on. easy well guys that's it pops right on make sure you do the top one first and then the bottom one otherwise it's kind of hard to get this one lined up but it's holding it with just one so that's definitely a good thing kind of it's good like i said hopefully the pressure isn't too much so we're about to try to close this hood we'll see how hard it is with just that one Yeah, cause it's still not enough to lift the hood by itself, so. Just have to hold it, but. Let's pop that one off and put the other one on real quick. Well guys, I got lucky with the first one, but not the second one. So I end up having to take this little uh, mounting piece off. So, so what you have to do, this is normally, honestly what you have to do, it's pretty rare that they just pop off like that. Um, you have to cut this open to relieve the pressure and then you can just pop it right off. So got a grinder, we're about to put this in the vise and then we will make a little insertion here. You don't want to cut too far obviously because you don't want to cut the ball, but cut it and then you just pop it right off. So. All right, just like that. So all I did was literally made a little uh, cut around it and then I hit it with a hammer, knocked it right off. So pretty simple, no scoring or anything like that on the ball. So pretty easy. Don't worry, the ball hangs down a little lower in here. So it's just take your time. Don't cut it like a crazy man. You'll be good. And honestly, those who are worried about cutting it, even if you do cut it, it's not a big deal. As long as you don't cut the ball completely in half, you'll be all right. So don't worry if you end up cutting it a little bit, it'll be all right. So now we're about to put this thing back in and then we'll have two good hood struts that'll hopefully hold the hood. All right guys, there you go. They are fully installed. Nice and easy. It took me probably about 15 minutes and that was worth cutting. Definitely could have gone quicker the second time, but that was my first time doing it. So pretty easy as you can see, it opens it up. You got to give it a little push initially, but it opens right up on its own. So I'm going to end this video here. Uh, stay tuned because we will be working more on the chaser um, as the winter goes on. 
because this is my daily. Mark 7 is tucked away and already in storage. So uh, we got a little bit more to do in the RX-7 for this winter, but nothing crazy. I uh, just got to still install that electric water pump. I still haven't installed it from when mine went bad. So um, yeah, stay tuned. More JZX content. Next, I need to install the Coil Red, and then we're gonna do some interior mods as well. So take it easy. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.